which you guys got another video for you delete your windows files like this if you are used to deleting files and then going to the recycle bin these can be easily recovered by people by using data recovery software by having a permanently delete fixture set to your right click context menu this is going to be a lot easier just to permanently delete files that you want to delete in a couple of simple clicks so open the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box here now you might want to go to file and export your registry at this stage to make a backup of it before you continue and once you've made your backup of your registry you can go to hkey underscore classes underscore root backslash all file system objects backslash uh, shell and once you're in this location we'll be able to add some registry keys so let's go ahead and click on that location there open this one up and we need to go to shell here once you click on shell what we're going to do is open this up here and we're going to right click on shell and we're going to create a new key so let's go ahead and create a new key so right click go new and then key and you need to give the key a name so we're going to call this windows dot permanent delete all one word like that with a little dot there and you can see it there i'll leave these in the video description for you now once we've done this we can click on that actual folder here called windows.permanentdelete and we're going to create a new string value on the right hand pane so go new string value and then you need to give that string value the command state sync just like you see here again i'll leave all of these instructions in the video description for you create another new string and we're going to call this one explorer command handler and once we've done that we will be able to give this a value because we need to change the value of this particular string. So let's click on this one here. Now you can double click on this and we're going to give this a value. It's going to have some braces and a number in it. So let's go ahead and click on this. I'll leave this also in the video description for you. So we're going to paste this one in for time. There we go. Now that's done. Click OK here and that string value has now been completed. We need to create a couple of more string values. So let's go ahead and right click on this little area here and we'll create another string value. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So this one needs to be called icon. So I'm going to call this one icon. So once we've created the icon string value, we do need to edit this one and give this some information, a value data as well. So let's go ahead and double click on this. And we need to uh, type out this one here, which is shell 32.dll, comma, dash 240. So type that out like so. And we just need to create one more string value. And this one is called top. And this is because we want to put it up the top of the menu. So let's go ahead and do that right there and call it top. Double click on this and we can give this a value data number or name called top. There we go. And that's now done. And that means it's going to be top of the right click context menu. So now that's all the editing done inside the registry. And uh, we can now drop that down. And I'll show you exactly what this actually does. It's quite useful. So I've got a folder on the desktop here. And we can right click and go show more options. And you should now see permanently delete right here. We can click on this one and say yes. And this will permanently delete that. It will skip the actual recycle bin and permanently delete that file so let me show you that again i've emptied the recycle bin this time create a new folder here and we'll right click on it go to show more options and uh, we're going to go permanently delete and it will completely delete this permanently off the computer without going straight to the recycle bin like that very simple and easy to do now if you had a right click context menu with the windows 10 on it which i prefer it will just have one right click rather than having to do two clicks here. So let me just create one more folder here. I've already edited the registry for the Windows 10 right click context menu. And you can see it's right there with one click and we can do the same thing. So if you're on Windows 10, that's what it's going to look like. And this is Windows 11 as well. So it works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And this is how you should be deleting your files. It's a lot easier and safer. Now, obviously, there is a safety net value with the recycle bin which means if you accidentally delete something it will be in the recycle bin unless the file is too large and it will automatically permanently delete that file anyway 
Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. If you enjoy this sort of content, then give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.